Good day everyone, welcome to your next KickPHP tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to look at um, setting up our configuring a database. The real power of KickPHP lies in the database. If you can just set up your database properly and 100%, the rest of the site is fixed for you. Alright? KickPHP follows conventions. They are naming conventions for your database tables, your database, and everything. If you can just follow the conventions, KickPHP will build the rest of the site for you automatically and then that's when you really assess the power of KickPHP. Alright, the first convention is uh, a table will always be in plural. Our tables are always in plural. Alright, uh, I'll tell you other ones as we go on but that's the major basic one you need to know and always in small letters always in plural and always in small letters all right the if we want to set up a blog what are the, the basic things we'll be needing basic uh i'll, I'll suggest we need a post uh, a place kind of where we post articles then we need uh, a comments box and what else or maybe a users table so we'll just create the, those three tables first of all a post and a post let me just say five and uh, if you're on one you go to the right hand corner of your screen and click this go button click on go all right the first thing you need is an id the next thing you need is a title next thing the body Next thing is created. The time this um, post for each post, we want to log the time is created. The next thing is modified. We want to make sure if someone edits the post, we can uh, get the time they used the last time the post was edited or updated. All right. The ID kind of keeps record of um, gives a unique identity for each record on the database. So we we leave it as integer and um, What's the maximum number of values? One, two, three, four, eleven digits maximum. Okay. And um, to move, jump every other thing. Enable the auto increment. It should increase by itself and then we'll set it to primary key. Alright, the next one is title. We set it as variable character. That's where people type the title of the post and the the length of characters I would want for my title is, uh, let's just say, 150. Yours could be longer or shorter, depending on how many characters you want the user to type as the name of the the title of the post. All right. Everything is basic. Some other thing we could check is, what if the person didn't enter any title? We could just check. Um, we could just write no title. So you set the default as undefined no title all right another thing we could check is what if the person doesn't enter a title could, could we still allow them to to make a post without a title if we want to then we can check that yes so this title this uh, particular field can be null otherwise uh, we just leave it as uh, the person must enter it before they can submit the submit the form Alright, the next thing is body, where they write the whole, the whole junk of text. We set it as body and the body doesn't have a, a value because we're not expecting the person to, uh, we're not expecting to limit the person to any um, length of values. The next thing is created, we leave it at date time. We're trying to log the, the time the user created the post. The time, same thing with modified, we leave it at date time and then um, they don't have values and then um, that's just it that pretty sums it up i can set this to no and then put it no for created and date time all right this is cool to go in case you you missed something and you wanted to add an extra column you could just click on go this will add one column for me otherwise you if you wanted to add two three more you, you specify the number right here otherwise you're good to go then you click on save at the bottom right of your screen you click on save and as you can see 
full color column for creator. Oops. All right. Um, all right. This error. The cause of this error is that I accidentally set this guy as auto increment. There can only be one field that is auto increment in your table. I wanted to set it as no. All right. So you click. Um, you hit the save button. And let's see. And that fixes it and um, we have saved the post table the next thing we want to save is comments and the comments is um let's just say four columns and click go by the right corner of your screen and the first one is id the next one in cake php your first fields should always be ID. The next thing we have is um, well, when someone wants to comment, they will have a body for the comment. Then we want to check which posts are we commenting on. Then we want to probably check which user is making the comment. Then probably we we'll need to check the time and um, the comment was created. So we add two new tables, or we have uh, created. And are modified. We we'll set them as date time. Set them as date time. Uh, quickly, quickly. Then um, we we'll set these as they are all ID. But then we we'll set it as text with no value. We have this. Then we we'll quickly set this as auto increment and primary key. Now. Um, we might just set this to be no, sorry, no, and that may be no, no, it's possible that the person might not uh, have an account, okay? Now, remember that our posts table is in plural. We're trying to reference the ID field of the post table. So to reference it, we use singular here, post underscore id to reference the user table we have user underscore id singular here but in the name of the table it's plural all right so with this fix we can just go to the bottom right of our screen and click save so that's the convention in cake php you reference tables with um underscores so we quickly have a user of the rest of five fields and then in the field we have uh when we hit on go we click quickly create it we have user we have a um, username we could have email we could have password i could have created you could add other fields on your own. This is date time. This is variable character. This is um variable character. Email could be like say 50 times here. Let's say your password cannot be more than 20 characters or 30 characters. You have a username, your name cannot be more than 30, and then username is variable character. And we have to set it the ID as auto increment and primary key. Pretty much cool we are good to go once you name it email cake php automatically knows how to verify that this is an email field you don't need to write special verification for it authentication for it and once you name it password cake php com automatically convert it to a password field and then once it's username cake php knows that this is username for login in. so uh, though these three fields should just carry these exact names and then um, of course we we'll click on save and uh, we are good to go see you in the next tutorial where we automatically build the rest of the sites from this database thank you very much